Looking for a laid-back mobile game that you can play while binge-watching your favorite Netflix series? Well, I think I just have found what you're looking for. What's up guys, I'm Pau, and for the next couple of minutes, I'll be taking you in a smooth and relaxing adventure in the sandy world of Outsouls Odyssey. Outsouls Odyssey is the second installment of the widely successful endless runner game Outsouls Adventure. Released last 2018, the sequel has lived up to its expectations, offering new gameplay features while retaining the captivating elements of its predecessor, such as the creative artwork and peaceful background music. Co-published with Noodle Cake Studios Incorporated and developed by Snowman, a three-person Toronto-based indie development team, the game was released on both iOS and Android platforms last 2018. In the same year, the game has continued to receive positive reviews from gamers and the gaming community, eventually earning the prestigious Apple Design Award for Outstanding Design and Innovation and has been consistently nominated in different categories across well-renowned gaming awarding bodies and festivals. Outsouls Adventure is known for its pristine alpine backdrops and snowy mountain slopes. This time around though, Odyssey takes you on a new journey set in the heart of a barren desert with familiar challenges that you have to face along the way. The game is easy to play as all you have to do is tap and hold in almost every scenario. As always, I'll discuss every part of the game in detail to know what makes this game sensational in different ways. I'm pretty sure that you're as excited as I am in getting to know more about the game. Without further ado, let's slide and glide and delve deeper into the majestic world of Outsouls Odyssey. At the start of the game, you'll play as Alto, the main protagonist of the title series. Similar to Alto's adventure, you have to complete three specific goals before you can advance to the next level. Assuming the role of a sand border this time around, you will traverse dune slopes and desert themed terrains while warm sunrise, gloomy night skies, and ever-changing, jaw-dropping landscapes accompany you at the back, making your lone journey a smooth sailing and less treacherous one. Your overall performance is measured through a point system, and several factors determine your total score after finishing a single run. Coins can also be picked up along the way as well as power-ups to help you prolong your journey. The game boasts a single currency system through coins. You can use them to purchase permanent upgrades and items in the workshop, as well as in skipping goals so that you can proceed to the next level without breaking any sweat. As you keep completing levels, you'll be able to unlock new characters along the way, and each of them has their unique abilities and characteristics. The game has a total of 60 levels and the goals become increasingly difficult as you climb up the proverbial ladder. The control mechanics is pretty much the same with its critically acclaimed precursor, as all you have to do is tap the screen to jump over rocks and tap and hold to perform mid-air tricks such as backflips and grinding. The one-tap system mechanic makes the game easy to play but hard to master as timing and precise anticipation still plays a crucial role throughout the run. There are three goals that you must accomplish before you can go to the next level. Some goals are relatively easy, such as achieving a certain distance during your run, while others can be a bit complicated, such as performing multiple backflips. Your total score represents the overall performance for each run that you have made. The tricks that you have performed can significantly increase your total score in a big way. Doing a combination of tricks will continuously tally and create a chain in your combo meter. 
once you land after performing a succession of tricks, you will temporarily gain a speed boost as well as a shield barrier. Aside from coins, you can also acquire power-ups during your run. There's the coin magnet that allows you to automatically absorb more coins in the course and the lotus flower that can make you crash proof from failed backflips and invincible against rocks for a limited amount of time. As you progress through the levels, you will unlock new characters along the way. There are six different characters that you can use in Alto's Odyssey. If you're too impatient in grinding out all the characters, you can simply purchase them anytime using real money as well. But for me, buying characters is not that necessary unless you're a competitive gamer and you want to finish all the levels quickly. The workshop is where you can purchase various upgrades that can help hugely during your runs. There's the wingsuit that allows you to fly so that you can do more tricks while suspended in mid-air. The compass is another cool item that is similar to a teleportation device as it allows you to travel to the biome of your choosing for a small fee. There are only three available coin bundles in the game. The stack of coins which gives you 2,000 coins at the cost of 1 US dollars and 7 cents. The satchel of coins, which tosses out 8,000 coins at the price of 3 US dollars and 7 cents. And lastly, the chest of coins, which is the best bargain among the three bundles that contains 14,000 coins at the cost of 4 US dollars and 99 cents. I'm not really a big fan of endless runner games like Temple Run and alike, but I was impressed with this game, and I've been playing it for a long, long, long time already. In short, I'm kinda addicted to it already. The game series has been praised for its superb artwork and music, which did not disappoint on its latest installment. The game is incredibly relaxing to play, unlike other endless runner games where you can feel the high level of adrenaline and excitement. I like how they paid attention down to the smallest details, especially when it comes to music. Overall, the Zen theme vibe played a vital role in making this game successful. The sounds of nature play throughout the game as you can hear a plethora of soothing tracks, such as the trickling of the sands as you glide through them, the splashing of water, chirping of birds, and other calming sound bites. Some gamers even claim that the game's background music helped them in coping up with their depression and anxiety issues. The artwork and visual design are also a huge thumbs up for me. The day and night cycle of the sceneries makes your journey very realistic and less mundane. But in some instances, the background can be a bit of a distraction and you'll often find yourself confused as the rocks can blend into the color scheme of the backdrop, especially during nighttime. The game was released on both iOS and Android platforms. However, the game is not free to play on iOS as you have to purchase it for $4.99. The reason behind this rationale is that iOS and Android work in different ecosystems. According to its developers, the piracy issue in Android made them decide to make the game free to play in Android. As we all know, Android has a much larger install base than iOS internationally, making the game easily downloadable in various methods by going to illegal channels. Also, Countries with big gaming markets such as China and Japan are really into free-to-play games and capitalizing this advantage is a boon rather than a bane in the long run. They also mentioned that iOS users are more inclined and willing to pay for games compared to Android users who like their games to be free for most of the time. Aside from the microtransactions, 
the game relies on advertisements to compensate for the free-to-play experience on Android. Overall, the minimalist approach to every facet of Alto's Odyssey makes it one of the most outstanding games out there. From the fantastic background elements to its simple gameplay, Alto's Odyssey captured the hearts of all types of gamers all around the world, whether you're a young person or young at heart. There you have it, another day, another game, and I hope you have enjoyed my offering for this day. Tune in next time for another exciting game that I will cover. Once again, this is Pao, and this has been EP Game Reviews. Adios!